they've been through more chaos than any other club. But for Durham City, the new season offers a fresh start. Good afternoon everyone and welcome to a new video on the channel. As I speak it is Saturday the 15th of July 2023 but when you're watching this it'll be Sunday the 16th of July. But anyway I am currently at the Bolden Colliery Welfare Ground. It is Bolden Community Association versus Durham City in a friendly and uh, as I wouldn't want to spoil you here is the uh, travel montage. <laughs> So the Bolden finished in ninth place in the Northern League Division 2 table last, last year and uh, it's maybe safe to say now they are uh, establishing themselves fairly well at Northern League level. Obviously lost out in the playoffs in their first season but uh, maybe a bit more mid-table last time out. But uh, they'll be looking to maybe push on again. It's quite an open league of course it is a... Uh, uh, 14 playoffs so they'll maybe want to look to uh, push on and uh, get back into those as for Durham City of course they were rock bottom of the Wearside League first division and subsequently relegated to the second division although there has, uh, there has been a change of names of the leagues in the Wearside League this year obviously uh, the first division is now the Premier Division and the second division is now the first division so in a roundabout way they've been relegated from the Wayside League First Division to the Wayside League First Division, but uh, yeah, the, I think the main thing for them this year is that it is there is a season they could go into without the absolute ridiculous list that you maybe saw in previous years. So uh, yeah, uh, I'm like looking forward to seeing how they uh, get on this year. It's, uh, this is going to be a good test for them today. At a, Northern League Division 2 club, so uh, since we're already here, let's just find out how it all unfolds. So here come the teams, uh, bold and in the white, uh, maybe grey and black this afternoon, while Durham City are in yellow and blue. I'm underway. Oh! Oh, keep his way out! Let's go off the line. Oh! Can't catch a break in this weather, can you? And just like that, it's bright sunshine again. Still, not gonna lie, this game has been pretty dire. And as I'm speaking of a rumble, thank you. Half time Bolden C A nil, Durham City nil. Uh, this first half uh, probably showed why I'm not the biggest fan of pre season. Uh, once again, uh, like uh, I'd say uh, Gisborough was the other night in the first half at Heaven, uh, has been a really uh, dire game so far. I mean, I think the main talking point of uh, this game and probably the game earlier has uh, been the weather. Um, as I speak now, it's uh, nice and sunny. I'm questioning whether I actually need this hoodie, but uh, 
obviously you saw the, the little bit earlier on in this video um, and uh, in the video that you saw yesterday that um, yeah uh, that can suddenly change it's just been a pretty wild day weather wise but I uh, just wish the football here would uh, perk up a bit but I've got to say I've actually I've um, been impressed with uh, Durham City they do look a genuinely better team than uh, what we obviously saw last season, the season before, and uh, the season before that, etc. Um, it's um, a club ready to head back in the right direction, I'd say, and uh, once again making a good account of themselves. I forgot to mention at the start of the video, but uh, last week they actually won for the first time in God knows how long against uh, Seton Delaville, I believe it was, uh, and once again making a, a good impression here. To cross. Full-time Bolden CA1, Durham City nil. Uh, as a spectacle, it is most definitely a game that is uh, best off forgotten about. But I uh, think one thing that is most definitely a positive is uh, just how far uh, Durham City have come in a short space of time, really, because they've got to remember, if that game had today had been played a year ago, the Bolden uh, would have almost definitely uh, have uh, got into double figures for goals, maybe even uh, into the 20s. So, uh, yeah, her most definite progression from Durham City. I mean, as I said, uh, pre-season, it is very deceiving. But, uh, yeah, you can the, the improvement is notable and I really do back Durham City to do uh, pretty well in their league this year. Um, I think today they uh, had quite a few chances throughout the course of the game and uh, limited ball into very few. It's, uh, it just so happened that uh, they maybe got caught out at the back a little bit and uh, the guy going on goals had a fair... I won't say a straightforward finish as such. I mean, he's done well to sort of let the ball go across uh, across his left foot and he's uh, taken on his right and it's gone into the back of net. So a good bit of technique there, I'd say. But, uh, yeah... Uh, as I said, it was not a good game of football at all, and I uh, think like last preseason and this preseason have been uh, pretty tedious. I must say, um, I'm really not that much of a fan of preseason, but uh, it is what it is. It is another game off the list, and uh, is and for the first time this season, I have seen a home team win. But how is that for this video? And I'll be back on Wednesday night with uh, Gisborough Town Reserves versus Tibbs FC. So that's a bit that is uh, Thornaby and Ingleby Barwick Sports Club, I believe they're called. So, but uh, looking forward to that. Uh, so until then, take care. Cheers for watching. See you later.